Let's start by reviewing the reactions to different levels of current and frequency when a hazard occurs of unintended electrical current passing through a human body. First, we have the startle reaction threshold, which is caused by a current of 0.5 milliamps, 50 to 60 hertz, to the hand. The inability to let go occurs at 35 milliamps, 15 to 100 hertz, through the arm. The next level would cause ventricular fibrillation to the heart caused by 10 milliamps, 15 to 100 hertz, hand to foot, or 0.01 milliamps, which is 10 microamps, 50 to 60 hertz, directly to the heart. The standard considers the body impedance or the resistance that the body is considered having to be nominally 1,000 ohms. This is based on dry hand-to-hand -hand body impedance. Now we will cover leakage current and auxiliary leakage current. The standard states that electrical isolation providing protection against electric shock shall be of such quality that currents flowing through it are limited to the specified values. This means that measured values of leakage current and auxiliary current should not exceed the limits specified in the standard. These are measured from accessible parts to earth or between accessible parts. From the two drawings on this slide, you get two examples where 0.1 volts accessible flowing through a 1 kilo ohm body impedance yields 0.1 milliamps or 100 microamps. The left side shows current flowing from a part with 0.1 volts through the operator or patient to ground. The right side shows current flowing between two potentials of a floating part, such as a battery-powered device. This is also called auxiliary leakage current. 